Our playoff march continues as the Leafs shoot down the Winnipeg Jets in a shootout. Ironically, March 13, 1996, was the last time the Leafs faced the Jets in Toronto, except uh, it was at Maple Leaf Gardens, and the game ended 3-3 three, three tie in regulation and overtime solved nothing, but unlike in the NHL today, there was no shootouts back in the day, so uh, back then both Toronto and Winnipeg took one point. But uh, the Jets returned tonight for the first time in 15 years, and uh, they kicked in the afterburners as they got off to a fast start, but the Leafs were able to contain them, although Meech uh, did hurt, uh, hit Armstrong, and he was hurt, so he was taken off the ice. And the Leafs uh, and the Jets both got into penalty troubles, but unfortunately, uh, the Luke Shen penalty that the Leafs uh, had to take well, let's just say Enstrom will go down in Jets history as being the first Winnipeg Jet to score on the power play, and it's one nothing Jets. And that's okay, because later, Joffrey Lupo shoots at an open net, and I thought he missed the post, or hit the post, I mean, but apparently the ref said the puck went in, and <laughs> ironically enough, he hit the net cam. <laughs> I mean, he must have picked up a, uh, my bad habit of smashing the cameras uh, with the falcon punch and the backhands, <laughs> except he did it with the puck this time. <laughs> I must be a really bad influence on him. <laughs> But anyways, the game is tied going into the second period. <laughs> and um, second period, Kessel and Lupo on two-on-one rush, and Bufflin was back, and he was ninth, or he was blocking Andre Pavlik. So Phil Kessel would have had a great opportunity to pass to Lupo, and he would have had a 50-50 chance to score. Except the puck bounced over Kessel's stick, and he went over the blue line, and the puck was behind the blue line, and let's just say it was offside. So, and things went from uh, things went a little sour as Antropov passed to Bermistrov, and he somehow beats Reimer on the glove side. And oh, jeez. Things get worse from there because Commissar takes two penalties, and on his second penalty, Mark Shifley, or Shifley gets his first career NHL goal, and the only odor to that is that it comes against the Toronto Maple Police. Oh, jeez! And uh, so the Jets are leading three to one going into the third period, but the Leafs get the anti-aircraft guns out as. Um, Bogosian takes a penalty, and Lupul scores a second of the game and cuts the Jets' lead to one. And in a period of second or seven seconds, um, Meech takes a tripping penalty, and Phil Kessel scores to tie the game at three. That's seven goals and 12 points, and he leads the league in both of those categories. And, uh, well, Kessel takes a, pe a slashing penalty on Bufflin, but hey, you know what? That's okay. The Leafs go into overtime with the Jets at the score tied at three. Wait a minute. Score tied at three in overtime. Leafs and Jets. That's how it happened 15 years ago. Except the difference is the goal scorers were for the Leafs were Doug Gilmore and two from Dave Anderchuk. But um, anyway, overtime solved nothing. So we went to the shootout. And Leaf fans were sort of cringing on this because James Reimer was one for three in the shootouts last year. Uh, but that's okay because Kessel misses and Wellwood misses. I don't know why the heck they would put Wellwood in the shootout. I thought they would have gone with like um, uh, Shifley or Anthropov or somebody. I don't know. Uh, anyways, um, next set of shooters were Lupul and Bermistrov. And Lupul scores. And the Leafs had the lead in the shootout, one nothing. And Bermistrov misses, and the Leafs are safe. So it's up to Matt Fratton to score, and he does that. So the Leafs beat the Jets for the first time in 15 years. Although they're the they used to be called the Atlanta Thrashers, but still our winning streak against Canadian teams continues, and our point streak continues. 
So the Leafs are going off to a road trip, four game road trip, including games against the Bruins, which is tomorrow night, and the Montreal Canadiens, and the Philadelphia Flyers. And I also wanted to wish uh, my friend Josh a happy birthday because he treated himself to a ticket to tonight's Leaf game. And, oh boy, Josh, man, you got lucky. That was a great game to go to. I wish I went there with you. But, um, anyways, the, until after the Leafs take on the Bruins tomorrow night, which I think the monster will be in net, go Leafs, go! Go Leafs, go! Go Leafs go! Go Leafs go! Go Leafs go!